nice fresh morning this morning. Yes, you can't believe that the temperature drops so low actually at night and then it just climbs, soars into the high 30s in the midday uh, towards the late afternoon. But now there's a bit of a chilly breeze actually. Yeah, I'm looking a... for the sun now. Oh, sorry, I'll get out of your sun. Oh, dear, yes. <laughs> Okay. Drying my shoes. You're drying your shoes. Mm. Okay. Yeah, we're going to drive out today and see how far we get today. See if we can see something fantastic. Hopefully. Oh, yes. No, I'm sure we will. I'm sure we will. So while we are waiting for the milk and the coffee, we can just as well do some work. We have to check the tire pressure again because you have to deflate your tires for the sand roads through here. And yesterday we did deflate but the tires were still boiling hot so we had to take into account for that. So we didn't accommodate too well. <laughs> now they're icy cold so now we can get a proper pressure. See, we, we are not sophisticated. We don't have super fancy tools here. We have a tire pressure gauge. It doesn't work so lacquer every time. No. But it's there. There. And then we've got a, a back end of a key. Here. <laughs> that we deflate with. <laughs> it works. It does, yes. But I think 1.6 should be fine because we're still carrying a bit of a load, so we can't be too it low. Can't be too low on the back, no. Yeah, and the road isn't too bad. It, it's actually a very good road. Yeah, I'm actually very, very surprised. Usually, it chips the enamel off your teeth, um, <laughs> the corrugations. But this time, it's a nice, smooth gravel road. I'm very impressed. Very impressed. Oh, hopefully, the sand bits are also going to be impressive. Okay, I think the kettle's boiled. I'm going to go and check that and then you can check yeah. on further. Yeah. Okay. Okay. With our tyres good to go, we enter the game area and head down the Nossop Road. It doesn't take us long before we spot three cheetahs under a tree. What a cool sighting! And not too far down the road, we come across a lion. There we go, our first lion. He's far and he's having a bit of a snooze. But he's there. We saw yeah. a lion and some cheetahs this morning. Very good. So now we're going to have a spot of tea. Maybe a, a biscuit or something. Yeah. You just gotta check if there's any thing around here. Animal wise. Doesn't look like it. So we can get out. So what do you want for tea? Ugh, a biscuit, a cookie, something like that. Something just, you know, to put in the tooth. Okay. <laughs> just to put in the tooth. I want a rainbow. I want a rainbow. Yes. Hopefully the chocolate hasn't melted completely. <laughs> Ooh, it's a little melty. Uh, not too bad. Yeah. Let's uh. have Let's have biscuits. Yeah. Okay. okay I'm going to eat biscuits now. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I'm a bit short. Ever so slightly. <laughs> this picnic table is made for giants. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you practically have to jump off. Oh up. dear. <laughs> oh, is that your driving toe? <laughs> I've got a picnic table toe now. 
I think we can go a little further. Yeah. We've got to look for leopards. I don't know if there is leopards in the park. Is there leopards in the yes, park? Yes, there's leopards here, yeah. Never seen one here. So that's next on the list. Yes. Look for leopards! Getting good shots. Oh, he doesn't want to drink. I want to get him as he dips his tongue into the water. Come on, drink. Come on. Here we go. It looks as if there's water in that little hollow mm. and not just that he's looking for some saltiness out of the ground. He drinks over there and the rest of his buddies, or maybe not his buddies, drinks elsewhere. Springbuck crossing. Do you want to cross? No. no. Wow, there's a lot of springbuck here. Right. Lunch time. Oh, where should we put ourselves? Somewhere down here at the bottom with this shade. Maybe that next one. The next Not one. the first one, but because it's a bit awkward. But the next one, there you can park quite oh, nicely. There I can park nicely yes. in the shade. In the shade. Here we go. Right, lunch time. Dust again. <laughs> Oh dear, where's the food? It's underneath here. Oh. I put the whole plate with all the leftovers from last night's briar down there. Oh. <laughs> I opened and I didn't see anything. <laughs> no, don't worry, I didn't leave the food at home. Okay. Right. Lunch. It is... Ooh, leftovers from last night's rib. It's going to be nice now. Yeah, at the picnic site. Lovely shady picnic site with picnic tables. And there's a, a loo here. And it's built so that you can see what's around you before you come out. See, it's got the sliding gate. 
So you can first check and see is there lions or weird things about or predators before you exit. Hello. Hello. You better come. Otherwise, I'm going to eat it all up. Okay. And you're yeah. going to have nothing left. Yeah, where's mine? Let me switch this off and have some jeans. Yes. Yeah. These some I've just covered for like flies and things. But yeah, I'm going to come now. Okay. After lunch, we headed back to Tweerefiren. Now I can get... Now you'll be able to see him. He's also getting hot. Beak open. Well, I don't really know if it's a he, but then again. Beautiful bird. I'll have to go and look it up. I'm not really a birder. So we're back again, back in camp, and I'll show you where we were today, on the map. Okay, we're staying down here by Tuerefiren, and then we took the Norsop River Road all the way up, and there is a picnic site over there, and that's where we had a bit of tea, and then we continued on up, all the way along up here, up to Dick Bart's Kolk, which is also a picnic spot, and that's where we had lunch. Uh, we couldn't go any further to Norsop Camp because it was getting too late, so we had to turn back. And now we're all the way back again, and we are back at Tuerefiren. So, I'm not quite sure where we're going tomorrow, but there's a whole map. To go and discover. So we'll see you again further down one of these two roads. <laughs> 